Right, hello. It's finally here, Monday, the 7th of January. So today we're going to be looking at the Hornby 2019 range in exactly 15 minutes. Um, I was going to start this video at 9.50, however, I wanted to make sure everything was working. Um, I've never filmed in here, this is on the big telly, you know, in the front room. Um, I could have done it in my room, but no one do it, bigger telly, why not? Um, so we're on the Ormby page, that's the, you know, the monster coaches. Um, actually, it says they've just arrived. So yeah, we're waiting, we got 15 minutes to wait. Um, but yeah, not long now. The Hornby 2019 range will be live. Fingers crossed, last year everything went very smoothly. We didn't have any, um, what do you call it, delays. It was, it come online straight away as soon as it should be. Um, I'm just going to, whilst I'm waiting, um, put a link straight onto the Facebook page. Um, you can see we can watch ourselves. How great is that? Um, pause it so you don't hear me twice. Uh, copy. I got the Athens page up. I doubt Athens will get the range straight away. So. Right, bear with me. Um, for security reasons, I have to get rid of the Facebook page on the screen. But that's okay. Um, I just got to put the links up, basically. What's my phone saying? Ah, nothing. Okay. It's saying what's on the telly. I thought there was a problem there. Um, for those of you who do not know, uh, Cornell Street is no longer. So I'm not looking for any modern image stuff unless there's Virgin Trains. Um, because I'm still buying the Virgin stuff just because it's the stuff I wanted when I was younger and never had. Um, also, I don't know how many people will be um, watching today because, you know, people are at work for a start. Won't be, um, they chose a time that people could be working and everything. But we'll see, you know. I do these videos not for how many views I get because I enjoy doing them. Um, There we go. One more to do and we'll be back on the screen. And don't press that, Jake. That's the one button. So yeah, it's Monday. It's 12 minutes to go, 9.48. If that clock's right. It's right up there as well, so that's good. Um, I always, always enjoy this moment of the year. Um, Hornby did release their 20... I'm not sure if it was 2012 or 2013 range on Christmas Day once, uh, which was a little bit hard to see because everything happened on Christmas Day, but it was okay. Right, we should be back online. There we go. Sorted. So, yeah, bottom right corner, you see it says 9.49. It might not be clear enough on the camera. Um, I could have a direct feed, but I'm not that smart with... I know the basics, but this is easy enough, and you'll be able to get to see it. Um, so, whilst we're waiting, this is the first time I've been on the Ombi website in a while, uh, the Lord Nelson class is finally being released. So this was kind of the main locomotive that was announced last year, um, roughly the same date maybe, I can't remember. But yeah, they released these last year. Um, if I type in Lord Nelson, I believe they released three kinds, uh, also in a different tender. Uh, here we go, yeah, so you got two with the smoke reflectors. Um, I did have a Batman one, to be honest, but 
Ah, the BR one, not been released. Ah, the BR comes with DCC sound fitted. So there's the BR one. Very nice. Um, I'm guessing there's got to be probably two more liveries in the new range. Um, that seems about right because they usually do that. Also, just released a couple of weeks ago was, I think it was just before Christmas, the J36. Now, being an Eastern Region modeler, um, I do want one of these. And I probably will get one this year. Uh, reason I didn't pre-order one, because I just wasn't buying locomotives at the moment. Uh, but I will get one. These are very nice locomotives, actually. I've seen one or two now. And, yeah. Because I was a massive fan of the J15. When a J15 was announced, I wanted one straight away. And I did. I pre-ordered one. And I wish I got more. Um, I probably will end up... Well, this year... There's a couple of goals I want to throw out. I want to redo one of my A4s. Gullamot. Because it's a poor runner. So that one needs some work. Work. I'm actually going to buy a second Gullamot. Um, and what we're going to do with that one is rename it Silver Fox. So I have a super detailed A4 Silver Fox. Because you know, I only have the back of my one at the moment. Um, and it needs BPR. So yeah, this is the J36. They announced last year. Um, we have the MBR one and the BR. Of course, I would have BR. I don't mess with anything else. Um, I get that one sound fitted. So, yeah, but we'll probably see new liveries of them in eight minutes' time. One or two new liveries. The same with the Lord now, since it's pretty, pretty, um, it's a no brainer. I'm hoping they announce an A4. They usually do. Every year they've released an A4 um, in a livery. The, uh, last year was, what was last year, um, I can't remember what last year was now, it was a Alenear version wasn't it, in um, Apple Green, and there's the beautiful Mallard, um, so yeah, I am Mars Beaver, Woodcock, that's it, so I actually got this one, but in BR from um, Hereford Model Centre a couple of months ago now, and I paid about 80 quid. You can't go wrong for that for a super detailed 84. Um, it was second hand, of course, but you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It was like brand new in box. And when I go to buy a locomotive, that is a bonus. One of the other locos I want to add to my collection, I only have one of them at the moment, is the Cape Ones. Um, again, I do. You know, I do um, Eastern Region, and these were very common. So I want to get two, maybe three of these this year, um, which you can pick them up pretty cheap. I do like the British Railway one. i got to admit. It's a little bit out of my time period I work on, but I've got one or two British Railway locos uh, with a Ryan on the side of the tenders and that. So it's a possibility. Um, I mean, one of the others i got to really get is the J36. Um, J39, sorry. But yeah, I do like that. Um, another I want to get sorted is the B12s. Again, Hornby announced these a while ago. Uh, we'll probably see new liveries in them. But I do need to get one of these, I think. So maybe I'll get one of them this year. I really want to build up my local collection because a lot of my Allen ER engines are either A4s or A3s. I, I haven't even gone A1 or A2, so that's something to look at. We are six minutes away from the range, so that's good. Um, there it is. That's a lovely locomotive. Um, I wouldn't say one of my favourites, but I do like it. My favourite LNER engine, obviously the A4. I don't know why. Um, it's not my all-time favourite locomotive, but favourite LNER locomotive is A4. Do like the A3s as well, but to be 100% honest, they are apart from the slipstream, then they are identical locos. The A4 and A3. Um, I do like the J70 now. The J70, they should be announcing more of. Hopefully, um, I'm still waiting for the British Railway one actually. Didn't 
to work, didn't recommend that. Oh, the East Coast train pack. That was one I nearly bought, actually. Um, whilst we're waiting, we got five minutes to go. I'm just going to have a look at Modern Image. Um, because, well, I say Modern Image. Let's see what BRD does on be actually doing at the moment. I forget. Um, because I do want another class weighted one. Yeah, so they're doing the railroad class 73. No point getting that one. I'm not touching railroad stuff now. Uh, I have the DB Schenko 08. Quite possibly end up with a BR 08 at some point. I haven't actually got a BR 08 for my layout, my collection. So that's something to look at. So this Virgin Winston Churchill, already pre-ordered. That one should be in soon. I did pre-order this class 153, but I'm not going to be buying it now because I've, um, you know, pre-order, uh, I'm not doing modern image no more, so, yeah, finito on that. Um, yeah, there's a few nice locos. We can't be far away, four minutes. Um, this is one I nearly bought the other day. The Duchess of Gloucester. Um, the only reason I didn't buy it was because, sorry, I'm drink. Um, the price, you know, £185 for my model shop. Stunning loco. But the price just put me off so much. Um, and I, I suppose i got to get used to it because prices are going to change in the future and everything. But that that price really put me off, and instead I bought an old gauge pannier tank for the same price. So I'm happier with that than I am with a double O loco at the moment. It's it's gorgeous. I've seen it in the flesh, but no, I can't justify paying 185 for a loco. If it come with coaches, then yeah, but no, that's one I'm happy with. Three minutes away. Right, let's go to the OMB main page. Uh, we'll close the Facebook page now. We don't need that one. Um, just moments away. I'm looking forward to it. I really am. I always am. Um, there might be stuff on that I don't like. But I'm still looking forward to the 20, 2019 range. So, yeah. Before we go into it. It's two minutes away. Uh, so, my main goal or... Well, main things I'm open for is maybe a new tour added in the R Loco of some sort. Um, again, we can pretty much expect new liveries for the J36 and Lord Nelson's. Lord Nelson's not interest me, don't interest me because of my time period and era. Um, maybe an add in the R tank engine of some sort. Be good if they've done some Gresley coaches. Um, some more of them because I do actually need some maroon ones it's getting harder and harder to find them uh, because I have loads of blood and custard I have three rates of blood and custard but I want some uh, maroon um, A4 hopefully they're doing another A4 they usually do um, and it'd be BR green fingers crossed uh, they haven't done a garter blue one in a while one minute ago um yeah, I don't know what to expect really. I know I got people who always say modern image and that. I would like to see some more modern image because only do kind of lack on that front compared to what Backman. I, I I forget what the Backman 2019 release date is. Um, I won't be doing a video on that. I'll probably do a video after when it's all been released. Um, but we can't be far away, so. Let's just update the page. No, nothing yet. Here, come up as a big banner here on the front of the website. Uh, but we are seconds away. Um, right, it's 10 o'clock. Let's see. It's taking longer to load. Nope, nothing yet. 
And it's a current suit. I'm guessing that's the new range. No, nothing yet. New for 2019. Oh, here we go. So that's their book. The catalogue on the front is a Duchess. Makes sense, really. Totally forgot about the Duchess. They'll probably announce more of them. 2019 is set to be one of the most exciting years for Hornby with a huge array of new releases coming into stock throughout the year. A 2019 range with over 400 product, products feature exciting new licensed and tooling products. The reintroduction of some old favourites and wealth of new liveries. Right, I've already pre-ordered my new catalogue. Wow. So Harry Potter's coming back. That's interesting. I like the look of that. 200 quid though. <laughs> uh, Paddington Junior... Paddington Bear Train Set. That's good. That's good. Especially for the younger. Ooh. Is that what I think it is? A GWR? That's going to be good. That's going to be very popular. Um, because that's, I'm guessing, that's going to be a railroad HST set. Oh, bitter and double tender sold. <laughs> I'm gonna have that, baby. Um, test coaches. Oh, they're do they're doing the test one, baby. Looks like that. Yeah. Oh, the Virgin One five car rake. So we got a poor man, Balmond, which is a class sixty seven. Ur uh, of Dudley round oak works pecket. They've introduced the Terrier. Now, will that be new modelling, new modes and everything? Because who's doing the Terrier this time around? I think someone else is doing that. Look at that Hitachi and Virgin livery. And in the art. Oh. Ooh. Which one's this? Packet Bear. Yeah, that might be sold to me already. I like that. That's a very nice colour. Rolling Road. Wow. Associated Portland cement packet at uh, 060. Seriously? We'll have a closer look at these locos in a minute, but that is very nice. Well done, Hornby. That's, that's made my day. Just seeing that loco alone. That is going to be very popular. Yeah, doing a Virgin tra uh, Eurostar train set again as well. That's good. Again, younger, new modelers coming into it. They always start with a train set. It's great to have a HST train set. Don't know when the last time Hornby done one. But yeah. I like those new packets. Oh, there they are. National Cardboard Packet B2. I'll be having that one. That's the one I'm having. Uh, which one's that? Sherwood Colliery Co. Limited. Um, another unit. Look at that one. The Old Common. With the train on the side of the trains. Oh, we have an A4. It's Walter K. Wiggum in the British Railway Blue. Oh, I like that. Getting a bit overexcited. <laughs> Scott Rail HST. That means they've got to do all the coaches. Um, another packet. The Intercity 125 in the original blue and yellow. Um, cross country, wow. That's I sold mine, um, just because I wasn't using that. Yes, they're doing the Virgin Alley and AI HST. I say Virgin, it's not really Virgin no more, is it? Bullied fight. Oh, they're doing the bullied coaches, are they? That's interesting. Wow, I I really like this range already. For those new 060 tank engines, I can already, i, I got to write a list here. Uh, we'll have a closer look at logos, I promise. We'll go right through them and then start again. Uh, we'll go for all 18 pages. We're only four minutes in, five minutes now, actually. So, But, yeah. How exciting. Um, so, they're doing the Scott Rail HST. 
That's going to be very popular because, of course, the HSTs are all going up to Scotland. Uh, nearly all of them. And I'm guessing they'll do the coaches to go with that. But at the moment, it looks like they're doing four HSTs. Four. Oh, they're doing the network rail coaches now as well. I've just gave up modern image and they're doing that. <sighs> oh, Mark III Scott Rail coach. Which coaches are these? These are Scott Rail without the livery yet. Another Scott Rail there. They're doing more liveries in the Mark IIs, which is brilliant. Oh, this is going to be an expensive year. There's so many. I gotta have that British Rails A4. Um, that I missed out on Merlin years ago, um, and I kicked myself because he don't come up cheap, and I don't pay too much for locos no more. Um, but already this is looking like a bad time to be quitting modern image. Um, no virgin stuff yet, like old virgin stuff. Um, right. Next page, I think we're on page four already. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be popular as well. The poor man coach. That's going to be one I'm going to forget. More Great Western Mark 3s, Mark 2s, Bully Coach again. So I'm guessing they're doing a range of Bully Coaches this year. Is that. That's a new range, isn't it? That's Colin, 57 bow ends. Yeah, that is. Well, they're going to be good. Especially for uh, Great Western modellers. If they're doing them in maroon, um, I might have to get some for the Forest Branch. As you know, I've got a layout called the Forest Branch. And it's only small, but it's XGWR stock, like BR, heavily weathered and everything. Um, and that'd be quite nice, those coaches. So if they're doing... I'm sure they're doing them in maroon. I'd be very disappointed if they don't. But yeah, non corridor as well. That catalogue does look good. So, yeah, we got SR Bully 59 and GWR Collar 57 bow ended. Bow ended, either way. Um, yeah, there they are. Well done. So, I would get possibly a break and a first class. Uh, it does say which one first class is, but yeah, there's the breaks. Look. So, they're good. We'll have a closer look at them in a minute. Ooh! Good brake van, that's nice. And also, I love that they're doing these network rail coaches. They are just gonna sell off the shelves because Ormby, you know, the network rail stuff for modern image modelers, when you get a yellow network rail coach, people just want it because the other day I went to Gloucester and I saw the network rail coaches going over the viaduct with um, a class 37 and DRS. And again, it pains me that I gave up Cornell Street. I stopped with it, but... Oh, I don't know. I might have to get that LNER HST set. Because it's LNER, it's Virgin Trains. It's Virgin Trains, I know, but... That would be nice. And that Itachi in LNER. Sorry that the loading screen's a bit bad at the moment. Um... Right, here we go. So, oh, a BR Blue Extra Long CCT. So, i got a few of them in my room. That's nice to see they're doing the other livery. Nice toad weathered brake van. Um, more brake vans. These new toady brake vans. I haven't bought one yet. I need to get one. Yes. Mineral wagon packs. I need them badly. Um, for those of you who do not know again, um, I've been collecting the BR box it ones for ages, and I've got about 30 of them in my train room at the moment. They're doing the 20 ton LMS brake van as well, so they're really going over on the brake vans this year. I'll be getting one of them. They've already done this before, but they're redoing it, new tooling and everything. Another sound vent van, I yet to hear what they're like. So we're getting into the railroad stuff again, great because it means younger. Younger modellers can get, you know, some of the cheaper engines and that. Um, and for £35 for local, they ain't got to be that. They'll be cheaper in shops, of course. But, yeah, those those wagons, free pack. Um, 
that's going to be something that I might buy a couple off. I might, one, two, or nine, uh, if I can get about 20 of them for my, my, my one rake, which is the BR box set ones, they are going to be on my old one for my Q4 Raven. Didn't see any Ravens on here. No new Ravens. Um, Hornby did miss some stuff out last year, so he might add them to to the um, list. I know they missed out the class 153. So, yes, they're doing a standard one as well on its own. So that's good. So I can buy loads of them this time. And it's really hard to get the BR Grey now. It's really hard. Um, oh, they're bringing the GUVs. So that would be an X Limmer mode, because Limmer made these. Um, but again, that's great, because that's rolling stock in need. Cross-country coaches, are they doing a buffet? Because if they're doing a buffet, I might have to get my cross-country train, HST again. Um, Virgin coaches, are they doing all the Virgin? Yes, they are. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you could have eight car rake. Cross country sliding door, sliding door, TSD. Um, I am, I'm gonna get the Alinear X version HST this time around. Um, it's the new one, eh? New livery. Now, there's probably a lot of lucky people, I think, with this range this time. You're always gonna get people go, well, they didn't do that. Um, but so far for me, I think it's the most exciting range they've released in a long time. Um, I mean, I haven't even looked at that A4 properly yet. I always want an A4. And for them to be releasing one plus more. Oh, they're bringing the crane back. So I just want to make sure they're doing... Um... Oh, they're doing the Capri's wagon again. Have they got any forest local? Well, they've got a hair first. I'm guessing they are doing the buffet. Um, I forget, TSD, TCC. But they're doing a lot of cross-country coaches, more than any other by the looks of this, unless they've abs accidentally duplicated. Uh, another burden coach, that's nine. They're doing a few of these 66s as well for railroad. Stanier coaches, they ain't nothing new, but... There's still a lot of pages, um, nine to go through. So, what's the next few nine pages gonna be listed with? Bit disappointed they're not doing another Raven, um, but might be in these nine pages somewhere. It's always slow loading when you do this live. Um, I don't know why. Everyone's on it, I suppose. Um, I mean, yeah, not everyone was getting up this morning like they do for concert tickets and that, going online to try and get them. So not everyone's on this Hornby page at the moment. But Hornby probably don't have big servers and everything, so, you know, nothing like some places. Um, so I'll be pre-ordering my stuff from Antics, Hatton's, The Rails, and probably Rails of Sheffield. I pre-order from those three and those three only. Um, I do buy from other shops, of course, if I go in them, but if they have a product, product and what I need and everything, I get it from that. Um, it depends where I am at the time. Price don't really come into it. Duchess. They're doing another princess, sorry. A princess. Um, yeah, that's good. Oh, okay. They're DCC fitted. So they're doing pre-DCC fitted locos now? I do like that National Coal Board livery. Why am I not doing a National Coal Board Railway yet? I don't... Oh, my God. Flying Scotsman in blue. Oh, my God. That's brilliant news. That is absolutely fantastic. So, I got Flying Scotsman in blue. I had him a few years ago. He come from a limited edition train set you could buy from Marks and Spencer's. I can't remember what the set was probably called, Flying Scotsman, if I remember rightly. But it took me a long time to get one. Hornby of releasing another, so that means I can sell mine, because mine's got damage to the tender, and I can buy a new one. That's it. That's the 2019 range sorted for me. 
Uh, that's really great news. Oh, it's going to be such a good year. Yes, a BR Class 31. About time. Again, I look Class 31, you know, it's my favourite diesel locomotive. For the Hornby to be doing another. So that's great news. A Blue Fire Scotsman. How excited. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, a Blue Flying Scotsman. Like I said, they're really hard to get hold of because they're Marks and Spencer's exclusive. And then you've got to try and buy the train pack. The train pack's got to cost you between 300 and 400 pounds. So for the Hornby to be releasing them again, if Hornby's watching, thank you. <laughs> I will be sending them a message. I always do. I do wonder if these Terrors are going to be new modems. Um, oh! So they're doing British Rail. The Class 66, I'm guessing that's in the railroad range, but they're doing it. And they're also doing the Evening Star for railroad range. So again, if you can't afford the Backman model, you can get the railroad one. Yes, the detail's going to be bad, but you can still get it. They're bringing the Class 156 back. Is that the Spirit of the Royal Air Force one? That's going to be popular. I wonder if they do uh, the blue livery. Oh, they did the Biffa one as well. I could just see Hornby being very popular this year. Doing Stepney, don't worry, I did not miss the Terrier Stepney. Um, I do want to see if they are new casting for, for the Terriers because there is a company, I, I can't remember who they are, but they redo, it might be Halgen or Dapo, or, I'm not sure, but they are doing Terriers. So for Hornby to be doing it as well, if they're new, then yeah, very good. So we've gone back in the locos. I don't know how. They, they are releasing a lot more. I believe this is the most they've ever released. Um, no way. I'm clicking on that now. Is that a Ruston diesel? Oh, I should have clicked on it, but... Oh my God. God, and these, what, that's the large prairie. Okay, so you can't see me beyond the camera right now, but I am over excited because that little rust and diesel, oh my God. It looks like they're only doing one because they would be together, but I clicked on it and I got to wait now to see it. I should have waited until earlier, but that little rust and diesel. Oh, look at that. Wow. Um, it's wired to the flatbed, so I'm guessing that's for the sound chip or DCC. But that is just the cutest. I worked, well, I didn't work on one. I outdo some repairs on one years ago. Um, or somewhat similar. It might not have been a rust, I'm thinking back. Um is it Dean Fast Railway? I don't think they have a Russell, but it was something very similar, and I fell in love with it. And I pre-ordered the um, O-Gage. You can get an O-Gage version. So we've got to wait now to go back, but that is stunning. For Hornby to be doing that. No one else has ever dared produce something like that for Double O. So Hornby's going to be popular for that one. Um, and I will be getting it. I know they didn't run on Stoke Summit. You can't have that running in an A4 going the other direction, but I'm getting one of them. Even if it has to run on the Forest Branch. So, yeah, they're doing the Large Prairie, Merchant Navy, two of them. Still waiting for the blue one. So, yeah, there's the Princess. So they've done the Princess Coronation, but actually doing the Princess Loco. Um, oh, there's another Rustan. Hold it back, Jake. Oh, and another two. Oh! Mad on British Railway Blue. What? That's it. Right. This is the best range for them to be doing that. Yeah. Mallard in British Railway Blue. I got British Rail Green Mallard from a train set. Super detailed, not the 
railroad version or tender driver, super detailed one. I'm going to double up on mallards because I got two and I'm going to have another. No, I got one mallard, sorry. I got three flying Scotsmans. Um, I got three flying Scotsmans and they'll all be off. I'm going to have another because I'm having another blue one. I'll be sour on my blue one. But, wow. Two A4s in one year. Damn it. It's got to be so expensive. I'm going to have to really uh, think about this because I'm doing up a classic car, Fiat 500. I mean, a lot of money's going on that at the moment. So we have a British Railway J36. I said at the beginning of the video they were announced new colours and that for the Lord Nelson. Um, oh, they're bringing the Class 01 back. So that's good. Um, that's the loco I want running with my steel wagons, what I have, uh, or, that, or the Raven. And because I'm getting the steel wagons as well, I might get one of them. Oh, double tender flying Scotsman in gold plated. Buildings, right. <laughs> Let's go back to buildings. Oh, cars, Ford Anglia. Yeah. Home, we haven't done a car in years. They're bringing the city people back. I got packs of them. Just for the moped. Because for Cornell Street, I was going to get a couple of mopeds and paint them up. So, we're on page 13. It's been 21 minutes and I'm blown away. They are just locos galore that I want here. Um, oh, it's going to be so expensive this year. But i got to get them. i got to get those A4s and that flying Scots, man. That's a must. In fact, that's definite. If I don't get them, there's something seriously wrong with me. Um, I would like the Alan IHST. But if it gets tough with money, then the A4s take priority. Um, still no Raven. Oh, 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 there we go. Um, people again, they're bringing the bench people back. Taxi. Taxi. Oh yes, the minivan. <laughs> I love the minivan. I seriously considered buying a real one the other day, actually. Um, but yeah, I didn't. Our <laughs> uh, car stage, the loading stage. It's great they're bringing these Scaredale ones back because I got the loading stage and it's perfect. And the car stage, I got one of them as well. Um, by far I, I cannot think of another Hornby year where the range has been so good I can't oh so worth waiting for that that Ford Transit van could be quite nice but no for them to do the A4s the little 060 tank engine national coal board I'm going to have to start writing a list. we still got to go through the locos. we still got to click on ones and that. But you got Flying Scotsman BR Blue. Hornby's only ever done once. And people say, why have you took smoke reflectors off Tornado? It's Flying Scotsman, I promise you. So that's proof that he was in that colour. I can already see the comments on Facebook now. Because every time I put my BR Blue one on Facebook, they complain. They say, well, it wasn't in that colour. And, you know, that's just Facebook people for you. They even bring the track rubber back. The walls, the tunnels. But yeah, the people do. Oh, look at the traction engines. Oh, they're very nice. And the benches. So yeah, people always complain. You get that on Facebook. I mean, I don't care who you are. You will get people like that. And don't like people like it. I honestly don't. Um, if I see a comment and someone said, oh, that's not like that. I usually do put them right, <laughs> just uh, send them a picture of a real thing because they say they don't do that and they haven't even done their research or anything. So yeah, but Fly Swapsman BR Blue, Mallard and BR Blue lined, so he's in the same livery that Sir Nigel Gresley, the A4 was in before he went into restoration. Um, they could have done that one, but I suppose they're waiting for Nigel Gresley to be released. I don't believe Backman would do it, because Backman don't mess with the A4s now. 
But yeah, Hornby are bringing stuff back that they'd done years ago. Um, like when the Scaledale range was all brilliant and everything. They even doing call loads as well. We only got three pages left and then we'll go through my favourites. We'll start from the beginning again. It's a little slow. We will check Athens. Um, see if Athens got the range up. Whilst that's low, sorry if I just moved the camera, I just realised I screwed the mat as I moved. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. If you do comment, I can't reply back because I, the camera's not actually by me, so I can't see the, um, you know, the comments. So we're going to the Athens. Um, Hobby Range Countdown. <laughs> yeah, they got to update their page, I guess. That one could be closed now. Um, so we got, I think that's four or five HST. So they're doing the cross country, the Scott Rail, the LNER Virgin, uh, the East Coast one. They're doing the Railroad GWR. Then they're doing the GWR Anyway, the special one with all the locos on the side. So they're doing five. And it might be, oh, and they're doing the blue one as well. The, the British Railway Blue. So they're doing six HSTs alone for everyone who loves the HSTs. They're all going to be different numbers to the ones they previously done. So, yeah, that's good. Because, again, modern image modellers, um, that's really good for. It's not actually loading now. We probably uh, killed it. They're doing their scattered grass again, which is great. I can't remember the last time we'll be doing scattered grass. That's a few years back. Finally got through the next page. Whoa, they're doing static grass too. Did they do static grass before? I can't remember. Static puffer bottle. You can make one of them easy. Grass glue. It's very cheap as well, like £3.45 for a mitt. Autumn mitts, that's brilliant prices. I gotta write a list, I'm gonna have to seriously write a list here. I mean, as soon as Athens and all the model pages update and everything, I will be pre ordering what I need. But yeah, we've gone into the boring stuff now, really static grass and everything. Um, it's good though, because Ormby haven't done this. I don't think they've done static grass before, I can't remember. They're doing static grass, so that's good. Um, I've sat on the floor here, and I need a chair, really, but what can you do? Because uh, I'm working on a laptop whilst the laptop's screaming through the TV. Um, so, yeah, we've got six HSTs, modern image engines as well. They're doing the Railroad Class 66 in all the special liveries. So you've got the British Rail Yellow and Blue. You've got the Flying Dustbin. Which is the Biffa one, of course. Um, the GBRF Evening Star. They're doing trees again, guys. And look at their prices of trees. £7.50. They've got to be cheaper than that in shops. So that's a really good price for a tree. Yeah, you've got bigger trees here. £9.95. That's got to be like £7.50 in the shop. So that's really good price. Oh, my God. they got a tree house. Well. That's great. That's a big tree, though, if that's scaled. Um, to have a tree out here, I might have to get that one. Uh, of course, I got the Millbow Railway. So the Millbow Railway is an hour gauge railway. Hornby don't do an hour gauge range. Uh, that would be a shock if they announced that. But yeah, that tree, that tree house might just be going in the Millbow Railway um, layout. So on our last page, and then we'll go right back to the beginning and go for the locos. I will get a list, write a list though, but almost guaranteed, 100% guaranteed, Flying Scotsman Blue, Mallard and BR Blue, um, I forgot what the other A4 was, but yeah, we'll have that A4 as well, they're both BR, they're both in my time period, I'm getting them, um, and Flying Scotsman, like I said, I already got him in BR Blue, but on Sal and Marks and Spencer's one, just because the tender had a bit of damage on. Um, and yeah, we're getting a new one. But blue. They're doing blue. 
They've announced the Large Prairie as a new mode, a new model. The Terriers might be a new modern casting, whatever. Uh, we'll see. Their wheels did look better than they do now. Um, South Pass, we've been on the app now. Last page thing for every load. I guess it's going to be nothing serious. They, they announced a new old one, class 01, in any World War II black and British Rail early. Might get another one of them because, like I said, my steel train, so I can have empties and loaded going in directions. Um, those three pack grey ones they've announced, I probably will load them. A new controller? Not gonna be as good as the original. That's a no oh that's a park one with a circular bench around. Right, that's it. We've come to the end, so let's go straight back to the beginning. <laughs> so in the comments below, put what you're interested in buying. Um I'm gonna go through them again, but this time we've got to click on the locos. It might be a little bit slow. So what I'm gonna do, we will just check the Hattons, see if they've announced it. Guessing they haven't yet. Let's go on their main website. Yeah, they just got a countdown. So that must be Hornby's fifth or sixth controller now. Um, but again, that's got to be for, you know, beginners, railroad. Um, I highly recommend the Gage Master controller. Um, for one, the old Hornby one with the red dial, the... You know, the really good, thick, heavy black thing that come with most train sets in the early 2000s and everything. They were brilliant. They they were sturdy. They'd done the job. There was a nice feel with the controller. I mean, that's important when you're running trains all the time. Um, but, yeah. You can't go wrong with a Gage Master controller. You can't. So, let's start off. So, we got the 2019 catalogue. Of course, I pre-ordered that from Rail to Sheffield, I think. The Junior Paddington Bear train set, bang on for young modelers who's coming into the hobby. You know, Christmas alone, I'm guessing there was loads of kids worldwide who had that train set. Because you don't have to worry about damaging it, it's ideal for them. And it still runs, uh, you can still run those trains on the standard Hornby track, I believe. Um, the Harry Potter train set. So they still got the rights to Harry Potter, which is great. Um, he, is that? Yeah, that's not the castle, is it? Um, you know, the old Hornby Harry Potter Hogwarts castle train was an actual, actual castle locomotive. But that ain't a castle, is it? Um, they've got the right loco with the right coaches in the right box this time. So that's good. You know, that's one thing a lot of people complain about when when they've done the Titfield Thunderbolt. Well, that's not the loco they used in the end of the film. That's not the right wagon. I don't care. I mean, it's it's the name. It's the film. It's to do with the film. So I bought it. I didn't care what it looked like. Um, and I had loads of people moan about that, but let them moan. Uh, so you've got the Ice Speed GWR train set. Again, a brilliant gift and a cheaper way to get that train. It's not going to be as good as the super detail model, of course, but you can get the GWR one for £120, but £100 in shops. I guess it only comes with one coach, Mark III. Um, so these test train coach pack, the Atachi test train, oh my God, I forgot about Bitter. So they're doing the test coaches. <laughs> That's like three A4s they're doing. I totally forgot about that one. Um, so they've done Bitten before with a double tender. A couple of years back, they done Bitten, British Rail Green, BR Green, sorry, uh, Lake Crest with double tender. So they're doing that again, but with Alan ER. Um, I, you know, I've only seen Bitten once, and that was at the Great Gathering, which he was in blue then. Garter Blue, I can't remember now. Um... He must have been, because Mallard was in Garter Blue, Eisenhower was, I can't remember Eisenhower, yeah, look at that, double tender. So yeah, I had the green one, um, which I don't use the double tender at all, because I used it for 
50s and 60s, the loco. So the tender's just back in the box. But that's a that's a maybe. Just because the fact is it's the one colour. Um, and I already have bitter, but it's a nice model. We will just check our turns once that's loaded. Um, I mean, you got to get someone on the computer and set pictures up. So Athens ain't going to be on that straight away, you know. But yeah, that's a possibility. Um, 4464. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. That's a maybe. Um, along with the HST and Alinear, uh, that's a maybe. I, I would love it because that is just superb. So, yeah, the test coaches, uh, standard five, you know, black five. Um, so, which was this packet? Earl of Dudley, Round Oak Works packet, Lady Edith. Edith. They're doing the Balmuth Pullman track. Uh, right, let's click on one of these terriers. So I want to see if these terriers are new modes. Um, they do look it. They don't look like the old terriers with the wheels that were a little bit out of shape and everything. And again, they're doing that Itachi in the five car train pack in the LNER livery. Again, that's just going to be so popular for modern image. Modelers, um, I did hear some bad things about the GWR one to be honest, but most of them would. Um, I would like one, but again, I'm not doing modern image. I know I want the HST, but so Yeah, so it doesn't say if it's a new, you know, new model. Um, yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on that one. Certainly looks a lot better, even though it's a picture, it looks a lot better than it was, uh, the old model. For a start, a couple of rods look right on the wheels. Um, Nem couplings, obvious. You can see them straight away. But yeah, there's. Let's take the computer off charge, actually. Um, I don't know, will I get a terrier? Would a terrier be any good on the forest branch? Let me know in the, link, um, in the comments. I mean, I do know XGWR, but there, there's a standard. Well, why have we gone about that far? Yeah, let's just start again. No, it's gone. It's all bad. So yeah, the website's got to be a little bit kaput in the moment. Um, could click on it. Let me out. I do apologise for the slow computer. Uh, the computer is usually fast, you know, I don't have a problem with it. It's just where it's a new page, everyone's looking at it. I, I kind of forget that there was other locals on right now. So those new 060s we need to have a look at. Um... They're doing a class 31 of BR. Yeah, the other page loaded now. <laughs> Everything's so slow.
We're doing the HSTs, like I said, six. Six HSTs. Six. That's a lot of HSTs. Um, wow. I forget. I, I forgot already. They're doing the princess class, which hence the picture there. Um, will they do a BR one? Might do. Um, I did see what a liver is well. I saw them on that, but they weren't in liveries. That you know, just the cab design. Um, so they might. Well, they're they're almost definitely do the maroon red, which you see on the cover. Um, they're doing an LMS one in maroon, probably or black, wartime black. Um, they might do a blue one. I did have a blue one, Prince Palatine, was it? Prince Palatine, Lady Lady Patricia. Sorry, Prince Palatine's the A3. Um, and I sold that one. Wasn't used net. Um, I do have the BR Black one. Right, where did we get to? <laughs> so there's the packet. That little blue packet's very nice. I will be having that one. Uh, the packets are just superb locos. So there's the new one there, the 060 Westminster loco, packet B2. Uh, we won't click on that one, we'll click on the National Coal Board one, because that's the one I'll be getting. It's National Coal Board. I buy any National Coal Board locos. Um, no! <laughs> that's not good. Their website's just gone down. Don't do this to me. Um, I've had every catalogue since 2003 and since then I've bought, you know, the originals and everything like that. Um, I had my first catalogue from Totally Trained in Ross and White and I can remember getting it like it was yesterday. Um, I went mad on them after that. I just bought every single one. I do have duplicates as well. Um, over the years, I've picked them up for boot sales like 20p in that. Because my original ones are actually put away in a box under, under my model railway. Oh, it's got so slow. I'm guessing everyone's on that now. Um, oh, I got my list. I was hoping they'd do more tankers. Um, they did do the free pack BR tankers last time, ICI ones, um, or the time before that. Should have got them because I really do need a fuel train. I got a couple of SO tankers, but nine. That's not enough. Um, I need more than that. Right, page two. We probably won't get to them all. So here's the packet B2. I can see this one being very popular. And there's the HST on the right, the Old Oak Common and Power Car and Dummy Car, 2018. What's that other one? Sherwood. So hope you have, what's that now? They've announced the Large Prairie. That packet. So that's two new. Princess, three. Break Van, four. Five for the other brake van. Terrier might be a new mode. So that's six. That's six so far. Six new modings. Um, now there he is. Look at that. That's lovely. And you got a check of that. Roy Hope Colliery. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I see that being very popular. Not this one. Um, April. Expected April. I didn't even look at the dates and stuff. But April. That's not that far away. Um, no one Hornby. It'll probably be put back. But give Hornby some credit. They've been pretty good at releasing stuff on time. Um, Backman as well. You know, it's not as bad as it was a couple of years ago. So there's the Scott Rail HST. Oh, I would love one. I really would. But 
I don't know, do I have that one or the in there? There's the A4 Water K Wigan. Class 47. Now, is that the railroad range? I'm guessing it is. I would say, yeah, it would be, would it? Another packet. So that one's called Daphne. Um, cross Country HST. Why did I sell mine? I could have got, I sold mine because I couldn't get the coaches and I had nowhere to run it. Now I can get the coaches. I wish I didn't sell it. Hogwarts Castle, official, loco. So you buy it without the train set, that's good. Uh, you can also buy it with TTS Sound. You can get the Dean Single Loco. Ooh, that would be a part of the railroad range, I hope. So that's the one I'm thinking of getting, the Alinear HST. That's the one. 290 quid, probably get about 260, 250. Um, I'll get that one for Mantix. I always get my Mark Freeze and that for Mantix. Um, and for those of you who like your HSTs, um, I'm doing a very special video this year on the Virgin HST, the Hornby one, the proper super detailed model with all coaches. So stay tuned for that. I'm looking forward to filming that. Um, that should be a great video to film. Um, I still got to edit some parts of it, but that's coming. This year is big for my channel because there's a lot of crazy stuff happening. Um, and I'm teaming up as well, so we should have uh, some great videos coming your way. Those are Mark III coaches, but why do they look different? Is it because they're new livery, maybe? So, yes, this is the ones I was quite happy about and quite annoyed at the same time. So they're doing Mark II Network Rail Coaches. Absolutely fantastic they're doing it. The only bad thing is I ain't got Cornell Street no more. Um, and they're doing the Scott Rail ones as well in the blue. That's brilliant because I can get some of them and then get some of the brake coaches as well. I do wish, one thing I asked Hornby about a while ago, would you ever do the um, GWR fag packet livery? And they haven't announced it. So a bit disappointed about that because that is 100% definite on my list. That's my favourite livery on HST. Um, I love the Virgin livery, but the fag package uh, GWR with the gold stripe, I used to love that livery. And I can remember seeing them as well, so that's great. Um, I mean, I grew up in early 90s, so I remember a lot of the HST liveries. Um, Virgin, fag packet, the other GWR, the early blues, all of that. So there's the Scott Rail coaches, um, very nice. That poor man is on my list, I will get that one. Uh, like I said, I'm rebuilding a classic Fiat 500. Not rebuilding, it runs fine. Um, but I've got to replace parts on it. Um, and that costs money. The only good thing about that is the Fiat 500s, the classic Fiat 500, you can still buy parts from brand new from Fiat, so it's not too bad. It's quite easy to get parts, it's just some of them cost a bit. Um, but I'll do special videos on the channel with that car to do with trains. So if you want to see more on my Fiat 500, please like, please subscribe. Um, because I have some great videos planned for that, including the train race. I will be racing a train with a Fiat 500. Um, still got to do work on it, but it's happening. So we got these new bow end Collet 57 coaches. Um, like I said, I need two of them. I will get two of them for my uh, Forest Branch, which from last night could have been being taken up because I want to do something with a different scale. But not yet. So that's another network rail coach. I will get all, all of these coaches because they're just popular. Um, if I don't get them, I ain't going to be able to get them. So I will get them. Um, they, they just hold their money. You know, you go on eBay and they just really hold their money on that. Morning. I saw that comment. I can't see the comments, but I saw that one. I just had a quick look make sure the camera was recording. Um... So yeah, if you're just watching now, Hornby have released their 2019 range and in my opinion, best yet. Um, definitely, because there's stuff on that, there's loads. Didn't mention this, but the fish van, they've gone up in price, <laughs> but I need a couple more. I got 10 on my rake. I need, I need about six more. So that's good, I can get them. Uh, you can get them pretty easy anyway. 
So that's the new brake van. That's the goods brake van. This wagon pack here, I need 20. Not 20 packs, I need 20 wagons. So I'll have to sort that out. But they're also doing the wagon separate, which is great. Um, so the railroad stuff, as always, the website's a little bit faster than it was a couple of minutes ago. Um, but yeah, I do honestly think this is the best range Hornby have ever released in my, well, from what I've seen. Um, it's made me happy because of the A4s. There's three A4s coming out. Wigan, Bittern, Mallard in British Rail Blue. Mallard and British Rail Line Blue, and then they're doing Flying Scotsman in British Rail Line Blue. So, that's brilliant. That's just, that just, saw that, yeah, haven't it? They haven't announced any Gresley Teaks in Maroon, uh, which I was hoping for, because uh, it's getting harder and harder to find them. Uh, they do pop up, and they ain't too dear, but when they do, I usually haven't got the money <laughs> to buy them because I'm spending it on something else. Um, I mean, I got obvious on the go. I'm building model lorries. I'm working on a classic car. Two classic cars. A Singer Vogue as well. Um, if you don't know what one of them are, type in Singer Vogue on Google. Lovely British car. The British, uh, the British engineers, they saw what the Americans were doing and they tried copying it. And it's just a gorgeous car. So Singer, like singers, Singer Vogue. V-O-G-U-E. There's the single one on its own. They're doing the Sherwood wagon, uh, which if you just saw the new B2 packets, there's a Sherwood loco, so that go nice for that. A GUV, want to get that one. Um, more Mark III coaches. There's the coaches I will be getting because I'm going to get the hell in the R rake. I am. I'm going to get it. If I don't get it, I'm going to kick myself because I won't be able to get it. So I will get it this time around. Um... I kick myself selling the cross country HST because you can get coaches. Um, and I only sold that four or five months ago. So that's really annoying because you can get coaches now. Never mind. You win some, you lose some. Um, oh, under the new coaches. Not final product livery, select to change. Is that because they're all in the R now? Um, they might have a logo fitted somewhere. I'm not too sure. Um, I'll have to check that one out. Let's close this old page, actually, because that one throws on us. So they do say all in the R Mark III trailer buffet. So, yeah, maybe. Maybe... They're £35. I usually pay about £31. Um, maybe a little cheaper if I can buy the entire pack together. It's a lot of money in one go, but it's worth it. Um, oh, God, it's going to be expensive. <laughs> That's three Alinear Locos. Four, if you count the Class 01. Five, if you count Bitter with the double tender. Um... Then you've got the wagon pack. I want at least 20 of those wagons, so I'm going to need a four or five packs of them. And then some singles. Um, then you've got the HST. Then you've got all the coaches to go with the HST. Still got to get two Virgil coaches as well. No, I've done it again. Remember what page we've got on? Not horny, horny. <laughs> Mr. B. Um, wonder if Athens is updated. Mm, nothing yet. It's a bit of actually. Hey, for bitter. Because if this one comes up, it comes up. Oh, they got the Aldrin one. Or 750 quid O gauge. I don't think so. I would love an O gauge A4 and A3, but I just can't justify paying over £200 for a locomotive. 
a lesser cover of coaches. I know it's old gauge. I know you can't get A4s for that price, but I just can't. You know, I, I, I got into cars. I've always been in love with cars, but now I've got the money to buy cars, classic cars, buy my dream cars. Um, that's what I'm going to focus on doing. Like I said, when we saw that Hornby release, they're releasing um, a minivan. I nearly bought one the other week. <laughs> I saw one, I was like, ooh, should I sell a 500 for that? I would never sell my 500 though. Uh, we need to go to page eight. <laughs> and we ain't got to be able to. Damn it. <laughs> we can't go to page eight. Oh, this is balls this right up. Wow. So yeah, I, I love my cars, you know. I got my Fiat 500, you go. Got the Sigma Vogue done now, which needs a lot of work. Um, hey, I'll tell you what, if you head over to you go, the Mighty 500 YouTube page, um, you can join that page and keep an eye on all the work on the Fiat 500. You know, there's loads of stuff going on with that. I'm in the middle of filming, putting the new spotlights in. Well, not spotlights, side lights. Um, and the new gate over the gear stick. So if you want to see more of my Fiat 500, head over there. But I will be filming videos on this channel as well. Because we're doing the train race. And some other train related stuff. Um, I shall be racing. When all all's worked out and everything. I shall be racing a uh, Prairie tank a dean fast railway from lydney to nortrud in a fiat 500 now if all goes to plan and i get the you know the help um there will be cameras on the train cameras along the roads and cameras on the fiat and it's got to be done into a proper video um, and at the same time i'm working on a trailer video as well so that's going to be a really interesting video. It'll be on this channel, the video, and it'll also be on the Yugo Mighty 500 channel. Um, that's a new channel. It's only just been started up, so we haven't got many subscribers. So it'd be great if you if you want to see more on the classic cars. Because not just the 500, even though that's the name of the page, there's also the Zinger Vogue on there. And might be somewhere else on there soon, maybe. We'll see. But, yeah. So if you want to see more on that, head over to our Facebook, uh, YouTube page and please subscribe. In the meantime, please subscribe if you're new to this channel. Um, this is going to be a great year for Hornby, great year for me and a great year for Model Railways. Um, and as I say that, yes, I thought it froze. We got to page seven, I think, or eight. Not long left of this video, I will be going offline in a minute, so as long as we can get back to where we were, um, I kind of want to see that blue A3 again. I'm watching two birds over there on the, the roof, and one gets closer to the other, the other flies away, and the other flies towards him, and then he flies away. It's basi basically, they're playing cat and mouse, um, which is interesting. The blackbirds or crows, I think they're crows. Come on. So yeah, if you put in the comments below um what you're looking for, what what you're interested in in the new Hornby range, uh what's your favourite choices for me, everything like that. Straight away, my favourite is Flying Scotsman in BR Blue. Um because they've only ever done it once and it cost you a fortune to get it. Um that's great that they're doing that. The bow end coaches are going to be quite popular as well. Um, especially with the large prairie. Uh, that should fit in quite nicely. Um, and I believe it's... So they're doing the large prairie. Backman do the smaller one. Um, was it 61? Class 61? I can't remember. Because I had a friend come here the other day. And he brought his O-Gage Housing Class 61 to my O-Gage um, Backyard Shunting layout. And it was stunning. It makes me want one, but again, the price is just... Ugh, I can't pay it. And, I'm, you know, I'm doing Rushbridge Hort. So popular at the moment, that layout is, especially local. And I haven't even started it. So that's a must. I've I got to start that soon. 
So again, if you subscribe, you'll see me building the baseboards and everything to that. Um, I'm building the baseboards very soon. Completely different to how I've ever built baseboards before. And it's going to be a very nice exhibition layout. Set Rushbridge Hort, a real location. Built to the 50s, late 50s, early 60s. I already got two O-gauge patio tanks. Gone, I order a third. Um, need the wagons, rolling stock. Everything like that. But, yeah. Right. This is where we got to. No, oh, yeah, it's the next page. So we're getting closer. It just completely froze on me. Um, which is a pain at times. So it's Monday the 7th. It is 11 o'clock. or well, Yeah, it's bang on 11 on my two clocks. My three, actually, with the phone. Um, so that's good. Uh, one more hour and I'm off to the dentist. Yippee! <laughs> Not a fan of the dentist, but... I chipped the tuck and I need to get it sorted. Um, I will be messing with the railway stuff today. Um, I need to get those two virgin coaches sorted before I finish film filming the virgin HST video, um, which would be interesting. That's actually quite, quite nice. So I'm bringing the breakdown crane back, uh, Cabra's wagon. page nine so we're where we were actually so doing sound decoders i didn't mention that before because i don't mess with dcc sound but sound decoders for black five a class 50 uh there i would like her to do more it looks like gwr is quite a range this year with the large prairie and the bow end coaches but again you've got the same with the southern like they've announced the to um, Merchant Navis in Southern Black, Wartime Black and BR. And then they're doing the bullied coaches to go with them as well. So, I don't know, maybe Southern's their big hit this year. Because last year it was... Well, I don't know, actually. What was last year? They did a bit of Southern last year, didn't they? Um, I can't remember, actually, to be honest with that. So they're bringing the rail car back. I just sold mine, actually. Um, I had the parcels, the express parcels one. Um, so we got a Duchess in the green, Montrose. Sound fitted, uh, DCC fitted, not sound. Freight train pack. Blue Flying Scotsman, hell yeah. <laughs> I really want that. These coaches, um, these are LMS Blood and Custard. I might, this might be the year I get some of them because... I got um, two LMS rakes. Oh, that. Oh, the Class 31 as well. Began. I don't know if that's the yellow front. I hope it does. And the Sinclair oil would be nice to get. But yeah, I need to get those LMS coaches this time. Um, I keep missing out on them. They pop up and then they don't. I will get some this time around. Um, I can't believe it's Monday morning. This weekend went so fast. I didn't do nothing. Apart from work on my Fiat, that was all I'd done. And I didn't achieve much because I'm still waiting for the parts. The guy I buy the parts from, he's still on holiday from Christmas. Um, he's had a long enough Christmas break in my in my uh, words, but i got to wait for parts to come. Um, Class 87, I missed that one, didn't I? Yeah, so they're doing the 66 in the British Rail, the GBRF, Class 31 in BR Blue. And then they're doing the Network Rail Class 31 as well, Driver Dave. Um, that would be quite popular. And then they're doing the Spirit of the Air Force. Class 156. I wish I kept Cornell Street. Why did I destroy the layout? Because there's so much I could use on that. Um, yeah, Cornell Street out the go. Um, when you've got a layout that just is not being used and you keep stuffing trucks on it and wagons from other layouts what's the point you know it the space i could be using and i have with the old age and now like i said earlier i i'm kind of looking at doing a different scale um and i kind of wish i didn't put the old gauge down now but the old gauge is staying there um so i've got to find a new place for 
the new, new project. What I'm building projects all the time. You know me. Um, but I do have a new idea. And like the American Railroad, I was doing an engage. That kind of stopped. It's not not going to happen, but it might not. Con uh, not going to happen. If that makes sense, I don't think it does. Um, so to do a Stepney, I can see that being popular with Thomas the Tank fans. Because they've stopped Thomas the Tank range. But it doesn't mean you can't get a Stepney. I do reckon they are new modes. Not the old ones. Oh, I forgot about the Rust Dun. So yeah, they're doing a Rust Dun Hornsby Loco. How great is that? It's automatically hooked up to a flatbed. And that's because the flatbed, I'm guessing you got to put the sound chip in or DCC chip. But it's great they're doing that because that is just absolutely superb Loco. There's more down here. But, so there's the two there. I like that Merchant Navy in the black. I've pre-ordered the BR Blue one, which is from last year's range, which is due soon. Um, but I want to get that one. So the Princess classes. Look at those rustons. Oh. And they do both kinds. Note, this one does not have the door. This one does. So they, they're not just doing the one. They're doing both of them. And that is absolutely superb. So... Hornby, if you're watching, that's an army war department one, by the way. Callum, if you're watching, SDAR, SDJR88. I'm pretty sure you'll buy that one because war department. Um, I'm sure you'll buy that. Um, which one was this? This was the lawnmower one, Queen Anne. So that's a must. If you don't buy one of them, you got to have something wrong with you. Mallard and Brit uh, British Rail Blue with the lined... Another wartime J36 SDJR88. If you're watching, I can see you buying that straight away. Um, they're doing Flying Scotsman in A1 class. So this one here is what Scotsman would have looked like when he come out the factory, factory fresh. So that's the livery he would have been in. No, it's the fence tender, the older style tender. So they're doing two Flying Scotsman. They're doing the Apple Green when they come out of the factory and the British Rail Blue. Which the British Rail Blue would have been after the Apple Green, the second Apple Green livery. Then it would have been BR Green and BR Lake Green and then so on. Like he did through his life. Changed livery more, more times than any other loco out there. Um, but yeah. There's a lot of crows outside now. I'm, I'm starting to think they know some. I don't. There's about four or five out there. There's usually only one or two. Um, it's taking a while to load. Don't freeze on me. There we go. I don't know where my dog is. <laughs> I just realised that's in in front of them. Let's go upstairs. J36 in British Railways livery. Goth. Um, possibility. Might get that one. Uh, the old ones. No wartime black. Thinking about that one. Double tender flying Scotsman. Now that's the Alan Pegler one. So that is that the one that went to America? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Um, the large prairie tank going to be very popular. So that's it for the locos. Um, Peckett, uh, not Peckett, Pugs. They're bringing the Pugs back. Maybe they should have thought about retooling that because they got the technology to make a Peckett, and the Peckett's roughly the same size. So. I don't think it's got to be a retooling. I don't think it is. I think that's got to be for the railroad range. But it's nice that they're bringing them back. Uh, you can still get them. Um, I've had two or three over the last couple of years. I've had um, sold them on. Just don't use them. So that's it. That's it for the 2019 range. Um, I will go back a page if it allows me. Without freezing and having a stroke on me. But I'm so excited about this range. I just got to figure out where I'm going to pay for it all. <laughs> because there's so much stuff on here that I want. Um, I don't have to worry about buying too much old gauge this year. Because I've nearly got all the stuff for the Rushbridge layout. And then I'll just add bits to it as I go along. Um... Of course, I'm going to have to stop somewhere, aren't I? I'm going to have to maybe cut back on the model Formula 1 cars, um, which I can do. 
because I got most of the ones I wanted. Oh, seagulls over there now. That's what he's waiting for. Um, it's turned into a bit of a gang war outside my house with the seagulls and crows. Those rust stones, I mean, is that is that the best thing Hornby have announced this year? Because I'm very excited. I haven't even checked Facebook. I bet Facebook's going absolutely nuts with this range um, on the train pages and everything. But that rust stone. Oh, let's let's just have a look at the War Department one. Because I know Callum's going to want one of these. That, that that red one's like a fire department one. Looks quite good. Oh. Wow. I am so impressed with that. Really am. Oh, look at it. Yes. I'm getting that one as well. <laughs> Is that separately fitted and rails? Yeah. So it's £80.79, released June, probably put back a month. Um, that's got to match the packet the size. Now, I'm pretty sure they're smaller than a packet. I've seen a couple. I'm sure that's smaller than a packet tank. And yeah. So if anyone from Hornby is watching, you, you've just outdone yourself this year. Everyone at Hornby, well done. Give yourself a round of applause. Because I, I, you know, I'm more of a steam person than I am anything else. And yes, the Class 31 BR Blue. Um, I was hoping they announced a weathered version because I had to get rid of my weathered one purely because it broke and... Disappointed. I've had it for a couple of years, but rotten chassis, um, which is kind of common. So, yeah, they're doing Class 31 BR Blue. They're doing the Network Ray or Yellow one, which you still get the older one as well. Um, so it's nice to see they're doing the blue one and the green one again. They did, it's not last year, the year before, Hornby did announce them, and they took them off their list because they said, we can't do these at the moment. We've got to focus on other stuff, and they brought them back. And I will have to look, but they probably are the same numbers. Um, so they're doing Princess Elizabeth in Alan, Alan S, Alan S DCC fitted. And they're doing Princess Mary Louise in BR, but doesn't say what livery. I'm guessing it's... I like that. So we'll have a look at one more loco. Um, and that's got to be it for this video. I'm going to have to write all of this down, but there's so much I want. Um, like I said, I'm just going to have to cut back on building models. Because i got a shed full of kits i got to build at the moment. Um, but wow. I'm hoping Hatton's have sorted theirs though at the moment. I'm not going to say they get it sorted straight away because someone's got to go on the computer and put it all down on that. But... I, I like going through on Athens just because the website seems to be nicer. Um, and the Ombi one's a little bit slow at the moment. So put your comments in. Uh, what are you looking forward to the most? i got to say the A4s and the Flying Scotsman in blue. I keep saying it, but those rust ends are growing on me even more. And I do love them. I, like I said, I've worked on one before, um, even though it's in a kind of a mess. I've had a look at one, I should say, but... Yeah, and I totally, totally, ah, oh, the page has just gone. I just noticed the 67 in Pullman livery as well. Uh, the Terriers are going to be popular if they are new Modens, and if so, they're probably going to be cheaper than those exclusive ones, the Rails of Sheffield. I didn't want to click on it. Let's click on this Class 31 instead, um, because someone just commented that they're looking for one of them. Hopefully, I go to that one. Um, Class 60 over there as well in the rail freight livery. Class 31 of my favourite diesels always will be. And it's not got the head board, so it's a later Class 31. Um, it's just got a normal scoop at the top, like a roof scoop, basically. Um, but yeah, they look very good. Coaches, loads of coaches, loads of Mark 3s to go with all the HSTs. I didn't see... Any BR Mark 3s for the blue HST. 
So I, I can't remember seeing any of them. Here he is. So look at that. Let me just scroll down so you can see it better. So yeah, notice how hasn't got the Ed code at the top. Gorgeous model. Um, I know a few people who will be buying that one already. October 2019, £175. So you're looking at about 150 to 160 in shops, um, roughly. So I hope you enjoyed this look at the 2019 range. I'm overexcited. There's just so much. So I'm going to turn the camera off. Thank you for watching it live with me. I've done the same last year. It's a popular video. Um, we will look at the 2019 range of Backerman, but that won't be live. That will be a separate, just uploaded video. I'm not sure when Backerman are announcing theirs. I will have to double check. That's 31102, by the way. But yeah, there's just so much I want um, out of this range. I do say, I will say it's the best range Hornby have announced. So thank you for watching. Um, this has been the Hornby 2019 range. Um, I keep saying, um, but look at that. Lovely catalogue. So yeah, and they're bringing a lot of Scaledale stuff back, scattered grass, all of that, trees, a tree with a tree house in. I will be getting that for the Millbell Railway. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you all soon. I'll probably do another video of everything I've pre-ordered from the 2019 range. But we might wait until the Backman stuff. But thank you so much for watching everyone. Um, I've really enjoyed doing this video. Over excited because it's the new range. But thank you for watching and I shall see you all soon. It's been an hour and 32 minutes. Bye for now. Bye for